This might be a little bit confusing, but I just filled a silo up with a silo. What's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to new mods. We got new mods for you today as well as a couple updates. Let's check them out. So just taking a quick overview, we got some new trailers, a couple updates here. We got a new weeder, got a new loading wagon. We've got a new map. We've got a map update. Plus we've got this mod right here, which, well, it's a silo for silo in silos with other silos and maybe a pallet or two. First up today, we have the IT runner for silos mod. I'm calling this the mod pack. This is by DD Mod Passion, who have brought us some other great mods, including the Euro Tunnel pack, the Lizard Rumbler van, reverse speed limiter, the Adirante pack, which is the first auto loading bills things for Farm Sim 19. It's crazy. But this mod right here, what is this and what's going on right now? Well, at the end of the day, these are just pallets, right? Think of it like that, and this is going to be a whole lot easier to explain because this took me forever. Me and my ADHD brain did not get along with this mod. It's just a big pallet. That's all it is. It's a huge pallet. As a matter of fact, being on PC, I could pick this up and move it. Yep, and that's probably even more confusing. Don't hit it. If you guys are on console, don't hit this because it takes forever to get back up <laughs> if you're using this right. We've got a couple different versions of this. Let's just jump in the store and check it out. So we have an IT runner trailer. This is the thing that you're going to want to move it. This is going to be found in tools. It's going to be found in trailers. Now, we have a few of these already. Make sure that you select the right one. So this is the first one we come across, but it doesn't say anything. It just says ITR2623. Don't get that one. Keep going a little bit further. You want the 2633 for silos. Keep that in mind, 2633 HD for silos. Click on it, $55,000. We can do main color, whatever we want. This is gonna change the uh, the primary color straight down the middle on the bottom of the frame, if you will. And Will Brand, we can do trailer board or Michelin. Okay, not too bad there. Where are the silos? Well, if you go into silos, you're not gonna find them. Because again, I said, these are pallets. These are big bags. So you wanna go into big bags, and here they are. What? What is this? This is madness. Each one of these is 25,000 liters total, and they cost $20,000. So uh, some of them, it's pretty decent price. Some of them, you may be better off doing something else. Nonetheless, these are cool. So we have seeds, pig food, lime, horse food, fertilizer, chicken food, and then we have one that just says silos. This is reusable for literally anything in the game. Anything in the game. Actually, I have TMR in this one right now because I filled it up with another silo. What? So let's check this out. I have a little setup here. We're gonna go over this. I will need to turn on my help window for this so that you guys can see exactly what's going on. So first up, we want to extend the arm out. Just like you would if you were picking up a green bin or something like that. This is your IT runner. So I have installed right here, the oats. We've got the oats and then we've got one that's just base model. Also, this is the custom modding 7R right here. Get hyped for this mod, more information coming soon. So we're gonna back up to it. We're gonna hook up and now I can grab this and pull it around. Though you don't really wanna drag it around. It's gonna kind of be hanging there. So let's take this and we are going to load container. All right, so it's bringing it in, it's loading it up, and it's going to tip it back. Again, keep in mind, just treat this like a big bag and you'll be fine. Now I've got a trailer over here, and I'm like, okay, well, this is what I need to move my, pig, or my uh, horse food around, the oats. So I'm gonna back up. I could literally put this wherever I want, it really doesn't matter. And let's go ahead and hop in the truck. I've got 5,000 liters in here already. Okay, wonder what that's all about. I've been testing. So now we've got this. All we have to do is unhook or you can leave it hooked up. <laughs> to, to be honest, it really doesn't even matter. This is really just removing it around. So we've got it where we want it. Let's pull up here, pull under it. Now we have horse food. You can set this up to auto feed your animals. I repeat, if you put this right in front of their trough where the food is, this will auto fill your animal's food. 
You will not have to worry about them. You can do this with pigs, chickens, horses, cows, whatever. Set your TMR up. Like I said, we've got one for TMR. This is going to be an easy way to do that. As a matter of fact, I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So we've got our horses here. We're going to take this. We're going to bump it out. And then I'm just going to back it up to the trough until we get to that point. And what's going to happen? You will see it is starting to auto fill immediately. Now it is slow. Do keep that in mind. It is very slow. However, if we come in here to our horses, we can see the oats are going up and do keep in mind. Remember, you can put anything in these. So this is just the oats, right? What if we've got this guy right here and I say, okay, well, <laughs> I can literally put anything in here I want. This is the only part that you have to get a little creative on how you do things. For me, uh, you, you just really want to go buy, find a buy point. I have found that the buy anything mod works the best. So we are going to come over and I have this version here, which is the whatever I want version going to go into big bags. I'm going to show you this. We have just silos. It's $10,000. Go in here. You can change this color to whatever you would want. It doesn't change the outer color like the other ones do. This changes the inside color, the tank color. So I'm going to pull under here. I know that horses like hay. Very, very much so. So I'm going to pull under here. And what is this? We can select whatever we want. And how's about that? This is filling up with hay right now. Now it's expensive. Don't keep in mind, this is not a cheap way to do this. This is kind of, kind of a, an expensive way to do it, but nonetheless, actually that was pretty cheap, $1,500. Now we're going to take this and we are going to do the exact same thing. See, I told you this thing takes forever to unload. You see, it's barely doing anything. Now I'm going to take the hay one. Ooh, it's heavy. It is very heavy. I'm going to back this up. I'm going to put it right here. And what's happening? We have not only, <laughs> I gotta take a picture of this. This is great. It's a great job, baby. Now I am automatically feeding my horses. I don't have to do anything. It's just doing its thing. And uh, with any, now do keep in mind again, these only hold 25,000 liters. So they're not crazy big. I may mod this one to hold a little bit more, but regardless of that fact you can also fill these up with pallets if you want you could buy other pallets big bags set it up beside it that's that's exactly how i filled up that one over there actually no it was a different one i deleted it oops nonetheless what do you guys think about this auto feed your animals i didn't even think about this until i'd already started recording this right here is amazing game changer for sure let me know if you're going to be using this plus course seeds fertilizer you could use it with all kinds of stuff but I think this is the way you should use it right here. And uh, yeah, keep in mind also, just like the big bags, as soon as it's empty, which we have emptied the uh, the oats, it will just disappear. So keep that in mind. It's not gonna stay around forever. This one, however, this will stay around forever once it's emptied. Next up, we have the Laley Tygo XR75. This is a loading wagon. Let's check it out. Where are you gonna find this? This is going to be in tools, in loading wagons, and gonna be one of the very first ones right here this will pick up just about any forage crop right here boom 42,000 liter capacity hundred and twenty four thousand dollars and you could change up from Trailborg to Michelin and in Michelin you have a standard and wide tires we've also gone with the st the wide tires the Michelin wides right here does this thing not look good or what this is a very very nice mod speaking of nice mods we've got another nice mod for you this is the einbog aerostar exact 600 this is a six meter weeder let's check this out always oh, fun to say that let's pop in we are going to find it in weeders if i can remember where they are it's going to be right here seventy five hundred dollars pretty decent price if you ask me 60 horsepower required it goes seven miles per hour seventy five hundred bucks total for this no customization options but it's a great looking mod. Check this out. There you go. The only update for all platforms today. This is the Crampy Bandit 800. This right here contains the Crampy Bandit 800 roller conveyor wagon in robust contractor design. I love the, 
I love the description some of these guys have. Let's check this out. I want to show you some of the new options because we've got a change log 1.1 new configuration and added new wheels as well. So let's pop in. Boom. Right here. $69,000. Gotta love it. Main color. Of course, you have red, green, black, and a lighter green as well. Capacity. A couple different ones. 28,400. We had 38,000, 42,850, or 29,000 if you go with a really cool top on here as well. Wheel brands, this is where we change it up. We have Trailer Bork and Michelin. Okay, nothing new there. However, we've got a couple different options here. We have the twin radial 71050s. We have the 404 71045s. And we have the 404 840s. These are the big wheels that are becoming super popular right now with all kinds of mods. Real beefy, real chunky. I love these. And in Michelin's, we have the Cargo XBib 71050s. We also have the 845s. And the 750-50Rs, these are cool, man. I believe this is what we've got on the uh, mod outside. So just keep in mind, that is awesome. Yep, we got those big old chunky ones right there. That is a Crampy Bandit 800 update. We've only got one new mod for PC players. Well, see, one mod. We have two, technically, but it's the same mod. We have just two different versions. We have an older model and a newer model. This is the Corsetta NL28, or the Via Corsetta NL28. Let's check these out. These are going to be in two different places, both in trailers, but kind of far apart from each other. The first one is going to be the older model. You will go through, you will look for this bright blue, green maybe, whatever color you want this to be. But you can change it up. You do a darker blue, you do the no normal green, or you can go with a black, which looks really good as well. Rim color, we have standard white or black. We're going to go with black here. And design, we have red, we have blue and we have yellow. So there you go. You can go with any of those. We're going to keep that yellow because I do love a black and yellow. Got to love them college colors. Configuration. We have 24,000 liter capacity and we have a 46,000 liter capacity. So if you need more, just pop that on there as very, very high up. Man, oh man. And design. We have color or you can go with white. So you can change all that red around. If you don't like it, change it to white. Now look at that. Take a look at this. And then we bump back out. Boom. We completely changed up this thing. That is awesome. Now we have very similar customization options for the newer model, which is the Via Corsetta NL28. You're going to go past pretty much every single thing that we have in game. It is all the way down here. Boom. Let's click on it. Now, this is shown to be an update. However, online it's saying new. Uh, I'm not really sure which one it is. I did not have it installed beforehand, so we're just going to assume this is a new mod today. Main color, we have green, we have blue, red. We can do black as well. We can do a lighter green, or you can go with a yellow orange look. Rim color, same as before. We have a white or we have a black. We're going to go with that. Capacity, 24,000 liters or 46,000 liters. Looking pretty similar, isn't it? And we have color design and white design. This changes the stuff at the bottom. Again, you can totally change this up. We have the two base game standard versions right here. We've got a new logging map for you. Welcome to Holmacra, a forestry property set in southern Sweden. Detailed and diverse forest, season supported, custom textures, four seasons, custom tree textures, over 17,000 trees to cut down. Terrain model extracted from real life terrain data. The DOF graphics engine has been removed to improve for FPS and distance blurriness. Custom buildings in the farmyard with a traditional Swedish look accompanied by big sheds to store your machinery. This is a really, really neat map right here. This is by Pixel Farm and North Mining Company, the NMC. You guys know who they are. This is very cool. You guys need to check it out. Speaking of checking it out, let's take a look real fast at the map. So what do we get? Well, we've got a full map. However, we only have access to this part up here, the part that's a little bit, uh, well, not darkened out the lighter area right here a couple different places right here we've only got one cell point one cell point i believe yep timber and fellas abs there is nowhere to sell normal crops here so do not think you're going to come in here cut everything down and sell some crops just not going to happen you could do wood chips and wood that is it nonetheless there is home macra and lastly today we've got an update to greenwich valley this is a pc and mac update only and currently, this is not in testing, at least on the testing list for console as of yet. But do stay tuned to the channel. 
because it will be coming to console eventually, I'm just not sure when. But we have an update today. This is Chainsaw 1.1, redesigned the cow, sheep, and storage yards, added season support, fixed gates for competitive farming, sellable house and grain silo, new redesigned wind turbines, and something that is absolutely amazing and I love, added a second BGA. That's game breaking right there. I love it. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Green Bell, for the amazing update. Uh, hopefully, we're going to be doing a little bit of something with this eventually once it is released to console. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. But between now and then, that is going to be it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please drop a like. Nari, please subscribe. If you guys are hyped up for the class DLC, let me know down in the comment section below. Also, let me know what you think about the mods today. Which one of these are you going to be using? Which ones are you not going to be using? Let me know. With all that being said, hope you have a great day. We will see you later. Peace.